Hey guys, I'm, if you can hear, like, you can probably hear that in the background, like a humming. The furnace has been running non-stop because it's freezing here, so I apologize if there's an annoying noise in the background of this video. But I'm going to do a favorites video. I wasn't entirely sure that I was going to do one for January. And considering today is February 2nd at the time I'm filming this, I figured I'd better hurry up and make a decision whether I was going to film one or not. So I did end up having a bunch of stuff I wanted to talk about, so I'm just going to go ahead and film a favorites video for the month. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is a couple of skincare items. Um, I did show this already, so this is the pore cleansing brush that came in my too cool for school kind of gift set thing that I got. It had the um, the cleanser, the moisturizer, and a face mask in it, and it also came with this little guy that is like my new favorite skin cleansing tool here. It's just a little silicone super what's the word for that? <laughs> uh, pliable? Men bendable? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. You hold it between your fingers like this and it's just because it's so bendy. <laughs> I can't think of words today but it just like forms to all the contours on your face to get a nice clean are you kidding me? I can't even, I can't form words today. It, um, when you use it with a moisturizer that is like a foaming one, which is not a moisturizer, a cleanser that's a foaming one, it just makes it like so much more foamy than it usually is if you're just using your hands, which I really like about it because I love lots of suds when I'm washing my face. Um, and I like that it's really easy to get in your nose crevices because it bends so easily. So this has been one of my favorite things that I have been using every single day to wash my face. I haven't really been using my Clarisonic a lot lately. I've been doing it like once a week, if that. Um, I kind of get aggravated with it because the battery does not last that long. And I don't know if it's because I've had it for like two years now I think or what but I am not spending all that money on another one just because the flipping battery doesn't stay charged anymore um, so the next thing is the PM perfector from formula 1006 this is the moisturizer I've been using constantly um, this is just a really nice not too thick not too thin everyday type of moisturizer. It is like meant to be used before bed and overnight which is when I wash my face anyway. But it smells so clean and fresh. It's um, it's black currant and licorice. It doesn't smell like licorice at all. It's just got like a slightly fruity scent to it and kind of smells like cucumber but I don't think there's any cucumber anything in here. Um, it's got black currant and licorice to soothe, condition, and nourish. Rejuvenating cranberry to help prevent the, the appearance of blemishes while aloe and vitamin C hydrate and brighten. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about um, cucumber. But it's just a really clean, fresh smelling product. And I've used about half of this. N not even half, because this was pretty filled to the top. I've had it for about a month now, so... I want to say it's like seven or eight bucks, maybe nine ninety nine, something like that. I can't remember what I paid for this, but I will definitely repurchase this because I've been liking it so much. It's a relatively inexpensive moisturizer, and it works really well. And you get uh, one point sixty nine ounces in there, which isn't bad for like a jar of moisturizer like this. Um, and then this is kind of a moisturizer too that I've been using. This is the uh, from Soap and Glory. I've really been liking their products lately, so I'm trying to try new stuff from them. I haven't even put this in a haul yet, but this is the Fab Pore Daily Micro Smoothing Moisture Lotion uh, for oily and combination skin. So this is. I was very skeptical the first day that I used this because when you put it on, you only need a tiny bit. But I put it, what I do with this is put it on before I do my makeup. 
and it felt very oily like right off the bat as soon as I started putting it on it felt super oily and greasy and I was like how is this for oily skin but once it like dries and sinks in and everything it helps keep you matte all day long so I really enjoy that because I'm I mention it all the time I'm not someone who likes to wear a lot of foundation or like just face makeup in general I like my highlighter and my blush and that's about it but this helps keep everything matte and not like greasy and oily I don't know how I yeah see I'm I'm wearing it today I've had it on all day and I'm pretty decently matte considering that I'm usually super shiny on the forehead so it really works nice I like that you only need a tiny bit of it um, I did get this from Ulta Soap and Glory is sold at Target again now. I know they were they started off in Target, then they went to Sephora and like their prices jumped up and I stopped buying stuff from them and now they're back like in Ulta and Target again. Um, so I'll save the two makeup things for last. So next is hair stuff. Um, I did mention this. This is the uh, Wetline Extreme Professional Styling Gel from, I don't know if you can get this anywhere else, but I got this from pharmapacks.com. That's where I always order my hair dyes from because they just, they have awesome prices there. This was 84 cents and I have been loving this. It smells so clean and fresh. It's got like a slightly fruity smell to it, but um, I've used quite a bit of it. I don't know if you can tell. It's not the biggest jar. Like, I wish they had a gigantic one of this because I would totally buy that. But the next time I order hair dye, which I'm going to have to because you can see my grays coming in, um, I'm going to have to get a few more of these because I really like it. I just put it in my hair right out of the shower when it's still wet and then I'll comb it all through. And it just it keeps my frizz at bay and it kind of keeps my curls in check and not all frizzy and poofy so I really do like this I said I was gonna mention it in a favorites video if I liked it and I really enjoy it they have like three or four different ones I got the blue one because I liked the color I didn't know what the difference was between the different colors I think there's an orange one and a green one as well but um, yeah I really like the scent of this one so I don't really want to stray and get one of the other ones uh, then the next thing is also a hair product. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. That is a mouthful and a half. Now I don't like that this is like $30 because this is only an 8.5 ounce bottle and that's not gonna last very long for me. I do find that I don't need much of it but I have so much hair right now that I just no matter what product I get, I try to get cheap ones because I go through it so fast, but then I do find that the more high-end, I guess, products end up working better for my curls. So this smells really, really good. It's very heavily scented, so if you're not one that likes a lot of scent in your hair products or if you're just sensitive to smell, you're not going to like it. It almost smells like, like shea butter when it's in here, but once I've dried my hair and styled it and everything, my hair smells like Tommy Girl. <laughs> like, Tommy Girl perfume is the epitome of, like, junior high high school for me, because that was the only perfume I, like, knew about and wore constantly. I don't know what it is, but this makes my hair smell like that. So, it makes my hair really soft. I do have to use, like, my gel in conjunction with it, because I still will get frizz using this but it I don't know it just helps the softness and makes my hair manageable and everything um, what was I gonna say I am I've been toying with the idea for a while of doing like an undercut because my hair is so thick I'm so sick of it it just feels like there's so much of it <laughs> and I just kind of want to feel like I have less of it so I, I was thinking about doing like one that comes up to a triangle underneath because I mean I wear my hair down a lot of the time anyway so you wouldn't see it and it would just feel lighter to me so I don't know I keep going back and forth on whether or not I should do it my hair grows super fast so it wouldn't really matter much anyway I don't know I think I might just take the plunge especially as we go into summer because it'll keep me cooler I hope <laughs> um, and then we have a couple of makeup items here so the first thing is the NYX duo chromatic Illuminating powder in Twilight Tint. Yeah, is it 
twilight tint. So this is like the the bluish one. And I don't know what it is. I've just been using this one a lot lately. It is I do find that it get, can get chalky if you use too much of it, but it's just such a pretty subtle bluish glow without being like super blue on your face. And that is very similar to those other ones that I just got from Ulta. Hold on. Which one was the bluish one? The Prismatic Mermaid, I think, is the one that it's closest to. So... The Ulta one is actually a little bit smoother, but yeah, those are pretty, pretty identical. That is the NYX one, and that is the Ulta Mermaid, uh, what is it called again? Prismatic Mermaid. So if you have one of those, you don't need the other. I don't, why did I buy the Prismatic Mermaid one? I probably have so many dupes for highlighters because I'm obsessed with highlighters and keep buying them, and I don't need to. Um... Where was this now? Okay, and then I only have one palette this month because I've been using this one a ton. This is the ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette. I still haven't gotten the Golden State of Mind one. That's like the only palette from them that I don't have and it's kind of bugging me that I don't have that one. So I might just order it next time they have a sale or something. But I love all the colors in here, especially this one right here, this like white gold color. That one is called Now and Zen, and that is such a pretty highlight color, all over lid shade. And then this one's really pretty too, that is Wishful Thinking. It's like a brown with a teal in it, duochrome shade. So this one has been getting a lot of love. I do have one of the colors on today, I don't remember which one I used. I think I might have used more than one actually. Like the peachy, was it this one? I can't even rem remember what I used this morning. <laughs> I think it was this that I used in the crease, but I just really love this palette. I've been grabbing for it a ton. And Colourpop actually just released another palette. Can't remember what the name was, but I ordered it. Um, it's another, uh, it's a smaller one. It's not a big one like that. And then the last thing is a fragrance. This is the... The label is kind of faded because there was a mishap in the mail and one of the other things I ordered spilled all over it. But this is the Zany Laney Lemon Black Tea and Blackberry scent. It's just called Zany Laney. It's from zanylaney.com. And this is like my new favorite scent. I had the wax melt. All her wax melt scents are now available in body spray scents. This is just the most fruity, best smelling thing you will ever smell. They, um, the body sprays are very, like, concentrated, and you can also use them as room spray, so, like, if I do three or four sprays in here, you will smell it throughout the room for, like, hours and hours, uh, but it smells delicious. Like, I would drink this if it was an edible drink, <laughs> you know what I mean, but it smells so good. This is, like, Oh, I love this scent so much. I'm gonna have to order another one because I've already used this much of it. It was filled to the top and I've already used it down to here because I've just I spray like the bed sheets with it when I change the sheets. It smells so freaking good. So um that's all my favorites, I think. Yes, those are all my favorites for the month of January. Sorry, this is probably gonna go up a little bit late because um, it's already February when I'm filming this, but like I said, I wasn't gonna film the favorites and then I decided to. Um, I'll throw this in my favorites too. This is my, my favorite thing of the month that Aiden brought home from school that he made. This is, they did a little piggy covered in mud. <laughs> so of course this is like in my makeup area because you guys know how obsessed I am with pigs. So I thought that was really cute and it's just, it's hanging, hanging out right over here near my my um, tripod thing that my light is on. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you next time.